the recent deterioration of relations between Russia and the West has raised concerns about a potential confrontation between surface warships. After more than a decade of supporting land wars in the Middle East and Central Asia, the U.S. Navy is reinvesting in its core mission of sinking enemy warships. In the early 2010s, the U.S. Navy built a new class of warships, the Zumwalt class destroyers, designed primarily to support land warfare, sea superiority, and is expected to be the future of the U.S. Navy, replacing the Alibur class destroyers. Meanwhile, Russia is still trying to squeeze out the capabilities of the Kirov class cruisers. These are huge warships, over 30 years old, armed with weapons, mostly from the Soviet era. In general, Kirov is still effective with the main task of attacking very large enemy warships, especially aircraft carriers. Jamguard is a class of guided missile destroyers optimized for the U.S. Navy's fire support. These were the U.S. Navy's first star warships with angered and flattened characteristics to reduce radar signatures. Some worlds displays 14,000 tons, making them the largest destroyers of the U.S. Navy ever. With such a large size, everything must be hidden inside the hull to ensure its stealth. The ANSPY-3 multifunction radar provides medium to high altitude search performance, outperforms previous radars, and can guide SM-2 standard air defense missiles. In terms of weapons, the Zoom Court class has 80 vertical large cells supporting RIM-66 standard missiles. RIM-162 Evil Sea Sparrow missiles, BGM-109 Tomahawk missiles, and ASROC anti-submarine missiles. Given the U.S. Navy's declining anti-surface warfare capabilities and the land wars of the early 21st century, it's not surprising that Zomgward lacks anti-ship capabilities. There are no Harpoon anti-ship missiles on these Star Destroyers. Zomgors' two advanced 155mm electromagnetic guns are resistant to surface ships. However, now these guns have to be dismantled because they are too expensive and do not have ammunition. An alternative weapon could be the SM-6 Martyr missile. Some girls rival the Kirov Cruiser. This is a completely previous generation warship built in the late 1980s. Its mission is to quickly neutralize American aircraft carriers, and its air defense is very powerful. Kirov class warships have a displacement second only to aircraft carriers. H is 252 meters long and 28,000 tons. The Kirov uses nuclear power instead of boilers and turbines, giving the class of a top speed of 32 knots and unlimited range. In addition, the heavy gunboats were also replaced almost entirely by missiles. In terms of weapons, Kirov has 20 P-700 Granite anti-ship missiles, 
IP100 missile is about 10 meters long and 6.8 tons with a range of 300 nautical miles, a top speed of Mark 2.5 and a 740 kg warhead. Kirov's air defense is extremely strong. It is equipped with an arsenal of 96S300F long-range surface to emissions, 192 short-range 3K95 air defense missiles, and 44K33 missiles. Close weapon systems are at AK-630 6-barrel Gatling 30mm guns. So, in a battle between Jumgort and Kirov, who will win? Let's say, the two ships confront each other at the maximum range of their anti-ship weapons of 300 nautical miles, which is the range of Kirov B-700 missile. First of all, stealth would be an advantage. Kirov has the Lesenda satellite targeting system, but Lesenda is a radar satellite and Jumgort is a star destroyer with a radar signature the size of a small fishing boat. Theoretically, Jumgort could get close to Kirov's range without fear of detection. On the other hand, the Russian cruiser will want to step back and attack Jumgort at a distance. Kirov is able to launch B-700 anti-ship missiles in the direction of the suspected Jumgort. The radar of the P-700 granite are still capable of guiding to the target. Even if the P-700 missiles can lock on to the target, Jumgort still has enough air defense to deal with. But what if Kirov carried out a saturation attack with dozens of B-700 missiles? Perhaps the end result of this scenario is a draw because the two sides cannot aim accurately. In the future, New weapons such as long-range anti-ship missiles will give Jumgort a significant advantage. For the time being, Jumgort is clearly no match for the Kirov cruiser. My video about Jumgort destroyer and Kirov battle cruiser ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.